For this demonstration, we will be using the following items. A granular, high-swelling, sticky clay, two beakers of standard tap water, and 10 cc's of Setco's clay cutter liquid. We begin this demonstration by using a metal spoon which represents the drill stem and cutting head to mix in the clay. As soon as the clay comes in contact with the drilling fluid, or in this case water, it begins to instantly react and swell. You will notice how the sticky clays cling to the drill rod and cutting head. This phenomenon is known as bitballing. Swelling clays create greater torque on the drill stem, which ultimately can lead to excess equipment wear and or failure. Setco clay cutter can be used in both water and bentonite slurries. The unique properties of clay cutter cause instantaneous reactions with native clays that break them down into a liquid form. You can clearly see this principle in action when the drilling tool is removed. Notice the lack of clay sticking to the spoon. Now let us compare the two side by side. The beaker on the right has significantly greater bit balling than the one on the left, which ultimately increases your chance of failure. The beaker on the left containing Setco clay cutter has successfully solved the problem of sticky clays by actively dissolving them. For help with your next project, visit setco.com forward slash dpg where you will find detailed product information and our handy product usage calculators.